Welcome! In today's video, we will talk about the fastest way to learn web development and actually get a job. If you're new here, my name is Anton from Coding Rich, and on this channel I talk mainly about programming, ways of making money, and general ways on how to improve your life. Let's go! So, you decided to become a web developer. That's fantastic and I'm very proud of you. I myself also work as a freelance full-stack developer, but I usually dabble in web development like with Angular and building very cool web applications. And I can assure you, it's very fun and I love my job. And I can only tell you to also do the same if you have an interest in that. But how do you actually become a web developer? You probably googled already and you have read so many opinions of people giving you all contradictory advice and you don't know which direction to go, what path to take, what programming language to pick and you simply don't know what to do. I've been doing that for already over six years and I remember back then when I started and I learned my first language that was Java. I was also very confused on why do I need Java, what can I do with it, what are the alternatives and why don't I learn them and not understanding many things and not understanding how to learn actually the things that I want to learn for my first language, uh, Java. And I can see that many other people, probably you too, are uh, also unsure on what to do. And this is very normal because you cannot know what to do because you tap into a very new field. You have no information about it and now you just have to trust someone to go away and you're afraid to go the wrong way. That's a totally normal reaction. And after all those years, I can now show you that there was always only one way and there will always be only one way on how to learn programming and how to choose the right thing for you. And many other developers will agree with me on this point. The very first step you have done already, you chose to become a web developer. Now what does a web developer do? He builds very cool websites and web applications. And that means you usually work on the front-end side. So you want to become a front-end developer. A front-end developer develops the design, develops the logic of the application that the user can see. And everything that runs in the background on the servers is the backend, backend background. So that's what the user cannot see. For example, the logic for when someone logs in into a website or registers at the website, those are all the things that run in the background, in the backend service. So you want to become a front-end developer now. And the technology is always changed and you're not sure what, what technology to choose from. That's very normal because if you asked me that question 10 years ago, I would give you a totally different opinion. But if you check on the job market, what is searched for? There are of course hundreds of technologies, but only a few technologies are actually paid and sought after by companies. We want to focus on those technologies because we want to learn something that has a future, that has a community, and that is also paid by companies. And there's only three technologies for the front end that are very popular right now. Those are Angular, React, and Vue.js. And those are called frameworks or libraries because they give you very powerful functions that help you to build repeating parts of a web application over and over and make it very easy. So just keep it in the background. I will talk about it in a minute. But the foundation of web development is luckily always the same and has been the same also 20 years ago. The language of the World Wide Web is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those are the basic languages of the web. It has been when the World Wide Web was created and it will always be the same. So spend the next two months playing around with those because they are the very basic fundament of web development. With HTML and CSS you can build the structure of the website like where are which elements and with CSS you can play around with the design, put some colors in there like move around the elements very smoothly and lots of other things. So if you just want to recreate the design of a website, you can do so easily with HTML and CSS. But when it comes to adding logic to it, maybe you want to communicate to a backend server, you want to store some data, you want to save some users, you want to implement a login function, uh, a register function, you want to load data dynamically from 
some server from some database. For that you need to add JavaScript, which is the script language for the World Wide Web, to add logic to communicate with the backend servers, and you will always need that. And people back then, 10-15 years ago, they really wrote that native JavaScript, and I have to say it's not a very pretty language, it's already a very old script language, and as far as I remember it was created in one weekend by some very good developer, so it's a little bit messy. So why do you still have to learn it? There must be something more modern now, right? You have to learn it because it's the very basic and it helps you to understand modern languages more and what they actually do. Because the things that I mentioned with Angular, React and Vue.js, they are used with TypeScript, usually sometimes also JavaScript, and they look all very easy and very logical because they're very modern. And what they actually do is, all of the code that you write in those frameworks, they are then transcompiled into JavaScript. So it's just actually JavaScript in the end. And it will always be that way, no matter what modern technology comes out there. That's why it's important to know the basics, which is JavaScript. All right, you learn those technologies like HTML, CSS and JavaScript for two to three months until you feel comfortable with them. You build one or two websites, like you copy them, you clone them, and just recreate the basic functions. And now the final step is to choose one of the three frameworks that I mentioned, Angular, React, and Vue.js. Many beginners choose React because it's kinda easy compared to the other two technologies. I also recommend Angular because it's very beautifully made and it's also made by Google, by the way. So you choose a framework, no matter which, it really doesn't matter because later, once you get the basics, choose another one and it will be very quick to adapt to the next one because you know the actual programming already. So you choose one of them and now you also learn the basics. You learn via a book or a video course, only those two options. Please don't download any apps or use some strange websites where you play some games where you have to fill in some blankets. This doesn't work. This is just distraction. You only learn with a book or a video course. You learn the basics. And then spend majority of your time to actually program. Think of some websites that you want to clone and just do it. Do it repeatedly, over and over. Or if you can't think of any ideas, just Google Angular, if you learn Angular, Angular project ideas. And then you will find hundreds of project ideas to choose from and you choose some of them you do them, you upload them to your GitHub or GitLab account, you will learn about this later. So that way you can show off what you already know, what projects you already did, and this will act as a portfolio. So this is all you do. You simply program, program and program. And of course you save and upload all the things that you have done already. And if you do so for four to six months, you will be a skilled web developer already. If you do it for several hours every day without breaks, without excuses, you will become skilled in that. You will be confident in that and you will know how to create any website that you want to create. I promise that. So you do that after six months. You're very confident. You have a nice portfolio with lots of projects to show off from. And now the second step is how to actually get jobs. And this step is kind of easy compared to other jobs unrelated to programming. Because programming is still somehow very new, because now is the time where programming got very modern. Back then it was clunky and very hard to understand. And now the obstacles are as small as ever before. And there's a technology boom. Lots of companies, they get modern, they need servers, they need websites, they need applications, and they need people to work for them. But there are not enough skilled workers in every country now. There are Every country has open positions for developers, for web developers, because there are too many companies, but not enough skilled workers. And it doesn't really matter if you don't have a degree. You're not a doctor where you are required to show off your certifications, like in order to really not injure anyone at your work. If you're a developer, it only matters that you can show off the projects that you have done. It also matters that you can show off that you worked somewhere, which you haven't yet, but that's no problem. And most important, you have to show off the immense desire to become a developer. 
you have to carry that burning flame inside you and show it to the potential employer. And if you do so, if you show that you're ready to work, if you show that you are skilled with your portfolio, then you will find a job sooner or later. If you live in a poor country where economies are very poor, get enough skills, build a great portfolio and apply to companies in richer countries in Europe or North America or even in Asia somewhere. And people there very often get some skilled workers from outside, from South America, from Southeast Asia, from Africa. I've seen that all and oftentimes those people are very good, very skilled and very pleasant to work with. So that's all you do. You become a great developer. You become confident. You build a portfolio. You apply like crazy. You use your brain to be creative when things don't work out. It now sounds very easy, but there will be very many obstacles on the way and you will feel like giving up every week probably. But it's a very great profession. It has a very bright future. It is paid very well. You can work from home if you find the right company for that. And it's very fun. So just follow this advice. Don't watch any other videos anymore. After you watched my video, just do what I said. Start today and you will do it. I believe in you. That's all I have to say. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and comment your opinion or your questions and problems. All right, see you next video. Goodbye.